Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And today we're at the largest convenience store in the world, and it's our first time trying out Bucky's. Let's go find out what all the hype's about. All right, so today's video is a bit different from normal. We're actually in our car and we got our dog right behind us. Yeah, we did um, a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've never been to Bucky's before. We wanna see what the hype is all about. And so we're here in Johnstown, Colorado, and it is currently the largest convenience store in the world. Yes. But before we go in there, let's give you a little bit of history about Bucky's. So it was founded in 1982 in Clute, Texas with its first travel center in Luling, Texas in 2003. And it began expanding outside of Texas in 2018. It's best known for its large size, food options including brisket, baked goods, souvenirs, and travel items. The chain has also become well known for the cleanliness of its bathrooms. Bucky's has never permitted semi-trucks at its locations. There were actually multiple signs when we pulled in. And apparently that's controversial because truck drivers want to be able to stay here. Bucky's also has an iconic mascot named Bucky the Beaver, which you can get merchandise on everything from t-shirts, shot glasses, and even dog toys. Now, this store itself just opened in March of 2024. It's located in Johnstown, Colorado, and is 74,000 square feet, which makes it the largest in the world. It is located about 45 miles north of Denver on I-25. The original location in Luling, Texas is being rebuilt to be just over 75,000 square feet, but for now, this one is the largest. There are 116 fuel pumps and 12 charging stations for electric vehicles and they have about 250 full-time employees. That's enough history. Let's go find out what this place is all about. Yeah, I'm ready to eat <laughs> and they're supposed to have great food in there. All right, before we even walk in, you can smell the barbecue. Thank you. Oh my. This thing is huge. Yes, they say it's larger than a football field. When you start out, check this out, tons of beef jerky, tons of snacks. Oh man, wow. it's going to be overwhelming, right? Yeah, it's going to be very overwhelming. <laughs> All right, but we're going to try to take this kind of like a buffet. Where we'll do one pass with food, come back, check more stuff out, and then more food. I think we should start with the cleanliness of the bathroom. Okay, yeah, we I did mean... take a road trip to get here, <laughs> yeah. so let's check out these fancy clean bathrooms. Clean bathrooms, check. And if you even have hand sanitizers at their each urinal. All right, starting off with sodas, 99 cents. That's 44 ounces right there. Looks like they have their own variety of drinks here. Uh, we're gonna go with Dutch Pepper Zero though. I heard Big Red is the thing. We should try that. And it sounds like brisket is on the board. All right, so there's nowhere to sit and eat this food in the uh, <laughs> in there. No. Um, I will say the bathrooms were nice and clean. I did see people cleaning it, but um, we're gonna start our first round. Um, so some of the stuff that they said you have to try is the brisket and beaver nuggets. Yes. So we're starting there, and a few other things. <laughs> All right, and we did relocate, so Gemma hopefully will be more okay with less people coming around us. Yes. One of the things I've read about and see, well, read, saw on YouTube is the fried chicken sandwich. So we picked up one of those. Yeah, but one of the must eats yes. is a brisket sandwich. Yes. So gonna start off with that. We also got a few different tacos because Rachel has heard good things about that. This was, this first pass was about $56 after tax. This sandwich is huge. That's yeah, is your bun check this huge out. Too? Yeah, same with mine. Yeah, show that sucker off. That looks like a good sandwich. What's all on there? A, um, a sauce and right. chicken. <laughs> and this <laughs> just looks like chopped brisket. Yeah. All right, let's eat this. 
All right, the brisket is nice. There is like a sweetness to it. Mm. Not the peppery that I'm kind of used to with Texas barbecue from what I've had. Mm -hmm. The brisket meat is very juicy, tender. The bun's good. I could go for a little less bun. I was gonna say the same thing about the chicken sandwich. I like it. The chicken sandwich is nice and crispy. The inside is very moist. I can't figure out what the flavor of the sauce is, but it's good. But I'm a sucker for a chicken sandwich that has pickles on it, and this one doesn't. Ah. But it's just me personally. I'm used to that at, I know, the competition. But still, still good with sandwich to start out with. Yeah, it's a little overwhelming in there. Mm. Um, it is- So busy. Over, there's so many people in there. Definitely the most people I've ever seen in a gas station. Yeah, and I know it's new, so that could be part of it as well. Also, huge 99 cents. For 99 cents. Now, this first round, we ended up doing some Dr. Pepper Zero, but I did see a ton of different flavors mm -hmm. for uh, Bucky's own brand, so we'll have to try those. The problem is, is there's a huge, like, <laughs> we'll have mm -hmm. to use the restroom more than once. All right, I'm ready to try a taco. Let me try the brisket egg taco. I'm gonna go for the Rhino taco. This is one of their breakfast tacos that has um, potatoes. How much does that one sauce? cost? $4.99. This one's $5.99. It actually looks pretty small for a $6 Ooh. taco. Sausage, eggs, bean, green sauce. Great looking burrito. And I saw in there that they were making tortillas. So yeah, they have like their own fresh made tortillas in house. Yeah. Who well, that's knew? That's a huge taco too. Again, Great portion It is a sizes. good size, actually, now that I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. All right, egg and brisket. It is... Mm. Oh. That's the one I saw on someone's video of a It is try. egg and brisket. Yeah. Um, and I can feel that tortilla feels good. I know, it's really tasty. Oh, I like this rhino one. Yeah, that's good. So is this one. I love I would actually sauce. put that over the brisket sandwich, personally, right now. That green sauce in there is so tasty in the beans the refried beans in there mm, like that's a healthy taco that's good mm, very tender mm -hmm. and there's not there's not a lot of sauce mm -hmm. i don't think there is any sauce mm -hmm. which actually maybe is why i like it even more yeah you're truly getting the meat flavor yeah that's good that's a good burrito i do like that too of the two tacos i like the rhino one but i can see where this one um beats the chopped brisket sandwich. see i would say i like that better which do you like better? And actually, have you ever had the breakfast tacos? Yeah. Or the tacos, period. It's definitely not, it's not one that I have seen on a lot of the must eat lists, mm -hmm. but I think it's really good. <laughs> Two more items in the hot stuff that we got. The good news is we live around here. Mm -hmm. This so, is actually about halfway to the airport. Yeah, I we'll have. actually be able to uh, take this food home with us and it will feed us for the rest of today <laughs> and probably tomorrow. <laughs> so this is the pulled pork sandwich. Yes, the pulled pork barbecue sandwich. Again, huge. Huge buns. Huge buns. Pulled pork on there. I see a little bit of sauce. Maybe it's soaked up into the bun already. Oh gosh. Okay, so the brisket taco, literally just a big old handful of brisket. Heck yeah. I will already say, the sandwiches are good. Those buns are nice too much. and soft, but they're too much bun. I want the tacos or the burritos or whatever they're calling them. I want those because I like the tortilla to meat to other in other toppings ratio. Yeah, I think it's good. I actually like it with the egg better, mm. but I do like the, I actually like the brisket dry better than I do with the sauce on it. Mm -hmm. I do too, it's got a very meaty flavor. It's really good. Again, I think the tortilla is the winner for the holders for me. All right, we've heard things, good things about this. Yeah, beaver nuggets is supposed to be one of the big things um, I feel like Jim is going to probably get some beaver nuggets. It looks like... I can't imagine it's unhealthy, right? <laughs> for a dog. I mean, I... it's unhealthy for a human, I'm sure. Yeah. Beaver nuggets. All right, so it's like puffed popcorn. Puff, yeah. Something. Like not popcorn, but puff corn. Huh. And then is it caramel? Yeah. Let's see if the dog takes it. Take it. It's very sweet, very yeah, sweet. Very sweet. Once you get through the uh, outer crispiness, it just melts. It's good. Yeah. Um, I could see it being addictive, like if you're just sitting on the couch. Or driving. Or driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could just eat a bag easily. Absolutely. <laughs> and Gemma approves. Yeah, Gemma approves. All right, so now that we went to the bathroom, we got a little bit of food on in us, I think it's time to go back in there and explore a bit more. I agree.
All right, as I'm looking through the random stuff, check this out. They have a signature scent candle. Apparently it smells clean and fresh. Maybe it's like their bathrooms. I can confirm after smelling it, it smells like a clean toilet. And they also have beaver nugget candles and roasted pecans. They have their own barbecue seasoning and barbecue sauce, as you would expect, right? And then they've got different cookies. Looks like they have their own jams. That looks like something we should definitely try. Snack rings. We're gonna go with a sweet onion. All right, they definitely have a ton of stuff. Look, at everything from candy to trail mix to nuts to the jerky. The amount of candy here, Josh, is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I actually think we need to get some of that Sour Power candy belts. Okay, <laughs> which one? Uh, oh gosh. Quattro must be everything or watermelon. I guess let's go quattro. Let's go quattro. Oh, there's right. strawberry down there too. Dang it, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> quattro. Right. Let's do quattro. Let's, let's do stick quattro. with the original All choice. Right. There you can see peanut brittle and they have a whole bunch of different flavors of beaver nuggets. I had heard cinnamon sweet is supposed to be really good. Yes, I just grabbed this small bag for us to try it. That's a good idea. I don't know about all locations, but obviously here they sell liquor. Because there's beer over there and wine right in front of me. We've got their own popcorn mixes. So one of the things we collect at home is koozies. And I think we're just going to need a basic red one for the collection, Josh. They're $1.99. All right, but you can also get tie-dye and camouflage. And you can get bottles and tall boys. That's awesome. We should just get the regular one. All right, just the regular one for now. Don't worry if you don't want the Bucky's flavors. They've got all the regular stuff too. All right, one cool thing that I had heard about is that they have Dr. Pepper frozen ices. I'm gonna have to try one of those, $1.29. Looks like a huge coffee station as well. They have a bakery. Check this out. We have heard about the kalash. They have sweet and savory. We're gonna go for the savory. And who knows, maybe we'll get a sweet as well, but the cinnamon rolls also are supposed to be awesome. And they look big. All right, here's the sweets. Oh, I see a banana pudding one, butter pecan, chocolate walnut, chocolate pecan. They also do glazed nuts. Look at that, making it right here fresh. Those are $4.49, I think. All right, we're at the second jerky wall, and uh, we transition into basically a home store in clothing. So we're gonna go through that because we don't have anything hot for this current batch. So let's see what we could buy if we were uh, looking for some shirts. I actually really like this logo. They have swimming suits, not just for children, but for adults as well. Bikinis and one piece. Bikinis and one piece. That's interesting the bucky's onesie now that is interesting i don't think i could do that one in case you need to keep your stuff cold there's a variety of bucky's coolers looks like they have more outdoor and camping gear fishing stuff backpacks a little bit of everything it seems everything <laughs> that might be one of the coolest things i've seen the Bucky's River Tube? Yeah, Bucky's River Tube. I like this one that has the yeah, Bucky's head on it. that was the best one. That is sweet. Oh, and, and she's some even... swim diapers, too. Well, good, yeah. <laughs> so you, you and your kid can have matching uh, swim trunks for Bucky's. In addition, you can have a four-in-one pool hammock with Bucky's on it. Yep. What is this? I don't even... Oh, the Bucky's is on there. What I see it. Thing? Okay. It's a splash toy, Josh. There we go. I bet it soaks up with water and you, and you throw, throw it, at, it each other. at each other. <laughs> that could be fun. That could be fun. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. It is. Hey, they have Bucky's flip flops. <laughs> it actually says Bucky's on it. But I don't see the beaver on them. No, but there's some over here with the beaver on them. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm a big fan of flip flops, so I might just have to get a pair of these ones. Price wise, $15. That's actually a pretty good price. 15 bucks. That's not bad at all. Yeah, and they have a lot of them. Even got a dog toy. Now, Gemma does not play with dog toys. She does not. Otherwise, we would definitely be getting her one. But there is a t-shirt. I don't think she could fit in that one. No. <laughs> she doesn't like to wear clothing. What is that called? Connect, Connect four. four. And Jenga. And Jenga. But Bucky style. Good news, we found a different 
couple, swimsuits. A couple different styles. Oh, yeah. Actually, that looks very nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Bucky Beaver. Bucky Beaver. Swimsuit. Yeah. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're headed over to women's apparel and... Uh, I don't know. Garden. Home and garden. There we go. <laughs> they do have pretty much everything here. You can get jewelry. Nope. She says no. They do have the largest <laughs> selection of poopery I've ever seen. These come in handy in cruise ships. Yes. Hey, baby, I got you a Valentine's Day gift. Some beaver nugget scented candle. Thanks, babe. Mm. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, so this quarter just definitely feels like a Bed Bath & Beyond. Almost bordering on Pier 1. Maybe not quite high class, but, you know, get your get your house decorations at the gas station. Yeah, but these are cool. Like, I think these are What do you got? Senorita needs a margarita. Yeah. And I wonder if there's a beer out there thinking about me, too. Aw. Uh, yeah. All right, well, I guess we might be buying stuff in this <laughs> section. All right, we are going to try to get out of here to eat more snacks. Uh, but this is 11.30 on a Sunday. All right, we're headed back to the car for the second time. This, this time, how much was it this it time? $89. <laughs> I did pay for the 10 cent paper sack though. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a couple tea towels in there. Yeah. Some, lots of snacks. It's like Target. You don't actually know how much you want to buy until you get in there. It's true. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And I will say, I, I thought the prices were a little bit more expensive than I expected. Yeah, I agree with that. Like for instance, I know that chicken sandwich was like seven bucks. Yeah, and uh, this, um, Sausage on a stick is $8. Yeah, look at that thing. That is ridiculous. <laughs> so it's got a tortilla and cheese wrapped around it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's time to try some more food. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're in the car. Gemma's doing good. She's just laying down right there. Yeah. All right, let's 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 dig into this. You try to get into something else because this is going to okay. take me a minute. It's wrapped up all nicely. Well, I'm starting with some chips or buckos. They're snack rings. Um, they look like a, almost like a Funyun. Oh yeah, that's a good flavor. Nice, little bit of little bit of sweet. Gemma took it. Rachel did. I did too. That, that's really good. I like that. That's good. And it's nice and light too. All right. Sausage on a stick, wrapped in tortilla. I think there's cheese in there too somewhere. Yeah, Gemma really wants this one. <laughs> hey, it's exactly what it says. It's a tortilla with a sausage in it. The sausage has a nice casing around it. It tastes good. It does actually. Mm -hmm. But it's a sausage wrapped in a tortilla with, on a stick. With some cheese probably somewhere in there. All right, I got some sweet and spicy beef jerky. Mm. So, they are known for their beef jerky. That was a huge beef are. jerky counter. And they have like, well, they have the counter and then they have like two different walls with it. Yeah. So there's lots of different varieties of beef jerky. I'm going with the Bucky's Nuggies White Cheddar Habanero. Hi, buddy. It almost looks like the, um, I mean. Beef jerky's good. It's got some spice, but it's like that flavored popcorn. Yeah, it's the same thing as beaver nuggets, but, but without savory. the without the caramel outer. Yeah, it's really good. It's light. It's got a nice yeah. kick to it. I call it like popcorn. Cool. that's hot. Yeah, the beef jerky has got a nice chew to it, but it's not like, Tough. It's not overwhelming flavor mm -mm. either. Mm -mm. I, I think like it was it. decent though. I will say the weirdest thing to me is the swimsuits. Like who is buying that a swimsuit? That was funny. <laughs> yeah. If you have a Bucky's swimsuit, send me a picture on Instagram, tag us somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to see that. I would too because, wow, they're yeah. just insane. All right, we got one more beaver nugget. And this one, uh, the cashier told us was his favorite. Yeah. This one is cinnamon sweet and you can feel it it's covered just like the Bucky beaver nuggets. nugget. Yeah, beaver nugget. It's got a nice crisp to it. You probably heard Holy, of it. Holy, super crisp. Super strong cinnamon flavor though too. I like yeah. it. I actually would say I like this better than the regular beaver nugget. Me too, but I like the white cheddar habanero ones the best. Yep. In case I didn't say it already, they have no banana pudding. Yeah, they're out of banana pudding. Oh. Not cool. And the kaloshis, they stopped selling at 11. I was at 11 o'clock at the counter and she's like, we stopped selling them at 11. It was like 11.01 maybe. I was like, what? <laughs> So and no kaloshes. Which what's 11. weird about that is like there was plenty of them out there. So yeah. it's kind of like what are you doing with them then? Do you just throw them away or? I'd hope they. Go. I don't know. I be... I'll pay for it. Yeah. What do they do with them after eleven? I don't know, but I think it's time to try this cinnamon roll. And Rachel's got a cake pop. It is big. I think it would probably be better if I could heat it up, throw some butter on it. But for right now. Yeah, which is why you just want to bite. Look at this cake pop. That's huge. 
Uh, I got the red velvet. There were three different flavors, a double chocolate, an Italian, and then this one. Mm. This is a good cinnamon roll for like what it is. Look at the deep red of that. Oh, it's so good. There's like a, uh, it's like cream cheese frosting. It's nice, light, fluffy. If I heat it up, I think it's gonna be really good. We have more stuff still. This is ridiculous. This is what $150 <laughs> looks at like at Bucky's. So, I love the cute little Bucky's logo. I mean, he is very cute, the mascot. He is, yeah. So we this is we just, will probably get some attire at some point. Yeah, this here is just cookie dough bites. I'm unsure I, if it's gonna be as good because I think a lot of times the ones, the cookie dough that you're not supposed to eat tastes the best. Is this okay good. though? Yeah. That is pretty good actually. I love yeah. raw I cookie dough. I feel like dough. sometimes you just know that there's something missing. Yeah, but I love raw cookie dough. I don't know that there's anything missing in that. I don't either. Three more things. We got two different types of fudge. And we also got sour power candy belts. Those smell good. Gemma, smell those. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how bright those are. <laughs> Covered in sugar, I'm sure. And then this, <laughs> we got two different fudges. You can see this one, it's got the salt right on it. So this is salted caramel. That was good. Wow. Those are sour. Are they? This is delicious. Ooh. I love that the salt is on there because then it like cuts the sweet. <clears throat> so that like gets you back in their jaw. I like it. I know you love it. I'm all about that. And then we got one more. And then this one is tiger butter, which you can see there's a big old layer of peanut butter in between the fudge. Oh, that's what that is. <clears throat> so tiger butter, I think is peanut butter and chocolate. That's so good. Mm -hmm. That fudge is delicious. That is just creamy peanut butter in the middle. <laughs> it sure that is. might last us a week. That stuff right, is rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so rich. Tasted everything we bought. All right, well, we know we missed the banana pudding. What else did we miss? What do we need to try the next time we're in Bucky's? We also did hear that Bucky's is well known for how cheap their gas is. We'll see. We have to fill up before we go home. All right, we had shot an outro in the car and we just had to give some more explanation. Yeah, we need to follow up. Yeah, we got home and basically crashed hard. I don't know if it was a sugar rush or food coma. So Josh, <sighs> is Bucky's worth the hype? I would not go out of my way for it, but if there is a Bucky's versus almost any other gas station, I would go to it. I agree. The selection, the variety, itself the clean bathrooms <laughs> yeah well worth it agree i don't know that any of the food that we ate today would be things that i would go out of my way to get but it's very good for gas station food yes did you have a favorite bite my favorite bite was it's gonna sound weird it was the eggs and brisket taco mine was the breakfast taco i had too with the sausage and green sauce and beans and yeah it was so for tasty. me yeah for me i thought the fresh made tortillas were actually the standout i did too um as far as the sweet stuff goes i don't know i liked the soda <laughs> <laughs> my diet so yeah yeah my diet dr pepper i like that all right some of the things that fell flat for us the dr pepper icy um, did not have as much flavor as we thought it would. Nope, and we really like Dr. Pepper. It's we one do. of our favorite sodas. And then the other one was... The fried chicken sandwich. It was yeah, not good. It was just a dud. Yep. Um, nothing exciting for us, so... You know, some things were really good, some weren't. Um, as far as the snacky things go, I really like the, uh, the onion, onion ring things. I like the Bucky's Nuggies, those hot habanero <laughs> ones. They're so oh, yeah. tasty. Mine were Buckos. Yeah. Either way, I'm glad we did it. It was Me a lot too. of fun. But man, I got to get outside and I need to eat a plate of vegetables tonight, I think. I think we're going to have a fresh salad for dinner. Yes. <laughs> if you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All our links are down below. Later.